Life before Centerstone was hell. I was like right on death's doorstep, really bad shape from alcohol. It had gotten to the point where the last probably two years of my life was nothing but drinking, nonstop drinking. I'd wake up in the middle of the night shaking and vomiting because I needed a drink. I was physically, not just mentally, but physically addicted. It was horrible. I didn't have a dime to my name. Uh, I was skin and bones. I was like 85 pounds. Um, I was literally going to die. They put me into their outpatient program while we waited for a bed. And these people were just amazing, so reassuring and just gave me enough hope. They taught us a lot about how addiction and alcoholism doesn't destroy the person, but it destroys everybody around them too. I had to do detox when I first got here, of course, and that was six weeks and I don't really remember much of that. I was, like I said, I was in pretty bad shape and I didn't want to leave. I was hesitant to come at first, but I knew I needed help and I couldn't do it alone and I kept asking for extensions. And they're like, no, Babs, you got this, you got this. And um, one of the nice ladies that worked here at the time, my day of discharge, she took me over to the halfway house. I got a job. So then after about three weeks of being in the halfway house, I moved out and I got my own apartment. As I stayed sober and time went by, I just started accomplishing more and more the second year driver's license and a scooter. The third year, uh, I became a certified pet groomer. Um, the fourth year, I think I bought my first house. Literally, I bought a house. I'm back with my daughter I got because my daughter was taken from me. And now, I ha like going into the sixth year, sixth or seventh year, I have my own business. 15 years ago, we literally thought I was going to be dead. It's just overwhelming how well things turned out for me because of Centerstone. I'm telling you, they saved my life.